Now's your chance. Taking a safe break? Be careful you don't overwrite the wrong file.
who I think it is? No mistaking it. We might not have found Cannon, but with that clothing and hair, it's gotta be. Kotomi! Ugh, Rabble. Introduce yourselves. H hey! You! Long time no see! <laughs> How dare you remember me? And after I strictly forbade you from doing so! And do I see you breathing? And blinking your eyes? Unacceptable! I told you not to do either within one meter of me. In fact, I still haven't given you permission to talk to me. So get out of my sight! Right now! What the hell's this chick's problem? Chick? Did you just call me a chick? I am none other than Kotomi Sonata. And to non-Neanderthals, that name carries with it considerable distinction. Yet you, you worthless maggot, you waste of flesh! You dare call me a chick? Huh. Know your place! Though perhaps the greatest insult is to see my image reflected in your nauseating corneas. Uh, what? Kotomi, we've been looking for you. Did you not hear my unspoken edict not to call me by my given name? Or do your unevolved ears find the language of man too complicated and overwhelming to fathom? It wearies me listening to uneducated primates trying in vain to communicate their simple ideas. You know, you shouldn't speak to people that way. Saki, let me handle this one. Hey, Katomi, we're really not your enemies. Honest. I don't think you understand how this works. Huh? The only one who can determine whether or not you're my enemy is me. Shall I tear you to shreds? No problem. <laughs> Do your thing. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
about done now? Tell me, please. We really don't want to fight with you. Would you just hear us out? You are not worthy to call me by my given name. Address me as Lady Sonata, or don't address me at all. What is wrong with all of you? How can you just stroll into someone's world uninvited with mud still on your boots? 
Yoshino's really worried about you. Did you say Yoshino? I did. And you've got her worried sick. She's worried about you, Kato. It's like there's a part of her missing when you're not there. I still won't go back. I've been searching for this for so long now. Searching and searching. High and low since I was just a little girl. And now, I finally found it. A world all my own. Created just for me. If you do see Yoshino, however, I want you to give her a message for me. Tell her. I have found where I belong, and I am never coming home. Oh, but... but... So that's how you intend to run away from reality, then? Hey, Saki, take it easy on her. Saki, you stay out of this. What do you mean, exactly? This is a cozy place you have here. It really is like living in a dream. The whole landscape was shaped by your own desires. That's absolutely right. This is my world, and if you understand that... You should have no trouble getting out. That's not happening. I'm destroying this place. It's a delusion, so it's my job to nullify it. <laughs> Going a little overboard, Hoshino. And by doing so, I will protect Akihabara and the entire world from being overrun by delusion. <laughs> you really are off your rocker. Are you some champion of justice now? Nullifying delusions? Saving the world? For whose benefit, exactly? Well, obviously, that would be... Exactly. You are sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. Even elementary schoolers know better than that. Tell me, whom have I been inconveniencing here? And in what way? Go on. Answer me. Well... I said, answer me! But this delusion has to be destro... The world has shunned me. Therefore, I now choose to shun the world. But this? This is my world. My own world. Just for me. So, pray tell. Huh? This world you choose to protect? Will it have a place for me in it? A lone girl is rejected by the world. So she rejects it right back. She makes a world all her own. A lone girl is chosen by the world. So she, in turn, chooses it. But that, too, is a world all her own. A world here and a world there. Whose world is reflected in one's eyes? The answer will come. Just think on it. Perhaps through this, those two could reach an understanding. In the present, past, and even the future. My, that certainly does sound like an eventful encounter. Still no trace of canon, though, and the delusion remains unnullified. Yeah, because we weren't allowed to nullify it. We were basically thrown out. <sighs> I'm sure it was simply too precious a place. She wanted no one to encroach upon it. So are you saying we should just leave it be? Not exactly. I'm just thinking out loud here. One person can never truly get in the head of another. A person's feelings are all her own, and hers alone. And the truest of those feelings are hidden away, deep in the recesses of her heart. What are our options, then? Is there nothing we can... Yes, it's true that one can never know another's true feelings. However, that doesn't mean you can't try, right? Try? Why is she smiling? Why is she sad? Why is she crying? Each of these is a reaction, is it not? It stands to reason there's a reason for each one. 
So, aura of mystery aside, you're saying we never really understood how Katomi felt. Or maybe never even tried to. If only we could get a better idea of what's going on in her head. She's not exactly rolling out the red carpet, though, is she? But that doesn't mean there's no way in. Isn't there someone who knows all there is to know about Katomi? You mean Yoshino? Not a girl. Yoshino and Katomi were practically inseparable. Oh man, why didn't I think of that? Great idea. Let's just find Yoshino and ask her all about Katomi. And then do what with that information? Well, we could... If we learn that Katomi needs her delusion, do we just give up on nullifying it? Mm. To deflate the bubble or not to deflate it? It's a big question. So why not wait till you know more to answer it? Your first step should simply be to get to the heart of the problem. Get to know the girl, then decide what to do. Get to know her, huh? Are you okay, Saki? Oh, no, it's nothing. Do you have any idea where we could find Yoshino at this time of day? Hmm, you might have some luck looking for her on Junk Street. Understood. But thank you very much. Before you go, though, Saki, I'd just like you to bear one thing in mind. While you seek to destroy delusions, and Katomi seeks only to embrace hers, you two are more alike than you might admit. Huh?